Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ding the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Hey everyone, welcome to Chasing the Kraken again. So one thing that I realized is that, you know, a pretty girl on this channel wouldn't hurt. So today I'm bringing a pretty girl along with me, Shiloh. This is Shiloh, she's my pretty girl. Shiloh, hey, Shiloh, <laughs> good girl. All right, she sees a dog or a bird or something. All right, so we're gonna get going. So, a little change of pace today. So this is our proud vessel. Now we've had the Mariner 3 for a couple years now, but I just bought the trolling motor. So Shiloh and I are gonna go on a little adventure and see how we do. Shiloh, come here. Shiloh, come here. Come say hi. Oh, good girl. Yeah, you good girl. All right, guys, we'll see you on the water. Let's get cracking. Okay, so there's Miss Shiloh at the front of the boat. Okay. So we are at, um, so there's Shiloh and myself. So between us, there's probably about, you know, close to 300 pounds into this boat. And at full on five, we're sitting at just over five kilometers an hour. This actually is like five is probably, like the five setting is probably too fast even for trolling. I would tone her down to a three. Let's see what that looks like. Three looks like a good trolling speed. So I'm gonna slowly get my stuff set up here and we're gonna do some fishing, right Shiloh? Oh, good girl. Shiloh, good girl. Yes, you are a good girl. Yes, you are. All right, so as a new installment in the Absent Minded Fisherman, I was about to show off my new Pen Pursuit 3 reel, except for I left the handle in the, uh, in the uh, truck. So I'm on my way back to the dock to go get my handle for my reel. A few moments later. All right, we are into our first fighter here. Oh yeah. This is uh, an unhappy customer. Let's tighten that drag a little bit. Oh, nice. I was just enjoying a lovely little cruise. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. He is not happy. He's got some weight to him, too. Wow, I think this might be... Yeah, decent. Headshot. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It's, he's wrapped up. That's, that's half the problem. So, yeah, he's got it totally wrapped around his face. I left all my good fishing gear, all my, my hook remover and all that stuff, I left that in the kayak, unfortunately, so I have to be very careful. Oh, and there he goes. All right, so we're back in the inflatable. Wow, this guy does not want to come up. I wonder if he's just wrapped in weeds. Whoa, hoo, hoo. that is a decent look. Wow, that's a healthy pike. Double kill. I got him just barely hooked. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> and he splashes me. Good job, good job, buddy. Well, let's get him in. Well, you want to take another run at me there, pal? Come on. That's it. Do you give up, my friend? I think he gives up. No, he's just saving up his energy for another run. Oh, there it goes. Wow. Yeah. I didn't bring my net. Wow. Okay. Let's see what we can do to get this guy. Oh, he's, there he goes. Relax, pal. Relax. Whoa, that's a nice pike. That's a nice, nice crawling valley pike. What do you think, friend? All right, let's send him back. Yeah, it looks like a healthy pike. He's nice and fat. Okay. Back you go, my friend. And he splashes me. Thank you for... Please come again. So this is the uh, Minn Kota Endura 
C30, I think it is. And it's a 30 pound thrust trolling motor. I've got it run here. I've just got a battery bag in the, uh, in the bow or in the stern. And there is a uh, marine slash RV deep cycle battery in there. All right, thought I had weeds, but I got some head shakes. So unless I'm really, now sometimes when you're pulling on a weed, no, this one's actually pulling back. So uh, I was gonna say, sometimes when you're pulling on a weed and it's sort of, you know, giving and, and letting loose after a bit, then, you know, sometimes you just know it's a, uh, it's an actual, just a weed. But in this case, looks like another decent pike. I say that a lot just because Crawling Valley does have some bigger fish in here, but most of them are this, you know, two to three pound size. This one's Triple actually, kill. that's a, another, you know, contender. I have to really let these guys have some slack because they tend to wait until right about here. And then here he goes, get them some speed. He feels the pull. And then he's going to make a run for it. Maybe not. Might have already been tired out, so. I try not to bring them in too fresh, but you try not to, you know, you want them to, to swim away successfully. Um, and there it goes for another, oh, attempted burn on a boarded run. It's like they know when you're reaching for the, there he goes. He knows when you're reaching for the lure. And he's barely hooked, so that's the way I like it. I don't like them to be, there he goes. See you later, pal. I think I should touch the leader on that one, so we'll call it. But there you go, there's another one. One more on the board. Yeah, hooked into another one. Nice, I'm trolling again. And they're definitely into the deeper water. I know from my kayaking out here, they're probably about, where we are is about 20 feet. Um, oh, whoo, wow, that's a nice pike. And he is just lip hooked. So we're gonna be a little cautious with this guy. Ultra kill. Give him some drag to play with if he wants it. There you go, there you go. Oh, he didn't go very far. Let's see if we can entice him in. I don't know, he's a bigger, he's a decent fish, so I'm not sure if he's gonna, if he's played out yet or not, but. All right, let's get you free. I think you've proven your manhood or your fishhood enough. And I do not appreciate hooks in my inflatable like you know he's barely hooked when you can just pick him up with your fingers but there you go another very friendly customer well done my friend back for for more see you later all right shortly after that last one what do we got yeah there's definitely a fish on the end oh geez let's reconfigure here I felt the little head shake. Rampage. It usually means Mr. Pike. That's right. You and your friends, you're finished here. I take over this lake. You don't touch it no more. All right. That was a really terrible. <laughs> Spit it right in my face. You bastard. You right, bastard, you. So considering that this is the first weekend that Shiloh has been my uh, first mate, let's promote her. She's co-captain now. So co-captain Shiloh has been uh, just such a chill dog for the boat. So um, been really lucky to have her out here. All right. So this is, oh, did he spit it? No, I think I still got him on there. This is not weeds. Uh, not fighting like a big pike or anything. So my bet is either a walleye which would be a nice change, or yeah, a docile pike. Unstoppable. That's actually not a bad size little pike for, for Crawling Valley, and he is lip hooked, which is awesome. And because I left my good fishing tools in the kayak, 
he's going to be released with the world's smallest pair of pliers, courtesy of Cabela's, actually. There you go, buddy. Hey, I even touched the leader, so counting that sucker. The world's smallest fish. Yeah. Oh, man. This is incredible. Ultra kill. <laughs> Come on, pal. Who are you teasing? Who are you kidding with that? There we go. Let's get you some water. Shiloh, what do you think? The world's smallest pike. Look at this guy. Wow, beautiful little guy. All right, he took a little bit of a wound to the belly. And uh, yeah, oh, look at the size of him. Oh, he's a monster. Uh, what a beautiful little creature though. That's not weeds. Let's tighten up that drag. All right, yeah, we got another customer on our way in. That's that last fish we were looking for before we called her a trip. Yeah, decent, Mr. Oh. Killing spree. That might be the biggest fish of the trip, this guy. Okay, hang on, Frank. Hang on, pal. Wow. It's taking some line. Yeah, that is a, that's a quality pike. That's a quality pike right there. All right. It looks like he wants to give me one more run. Usually they don't like it when you try and bring their nose around. And sure enough, he's, oh, he's heading for the bottom. Yeah, doesn't quite have enough jam in him to make a serious run for the border. All right, let's back his ass up. A boom, 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 boom. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there we go. He had enough in him for another little sprint. Almost another one. Come on. Let's get you in so we can get you free. Come on. Oh, yeah, that is a that is a nice pike. He fits in the net, but not with a lot to spare. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. That's the biggest pike I've gotten out of here in a while. Look at that. Hey, Shiloh, what do you think? Don't get too close. Wow, nice pike. I love it. Yeah, quality fish and nice and fat and healthy. Love it. And he didn't get jammed up in the process, so we're gonna get let him go. One second, pal, let me get the net out of the way. Let's get a release on you. Okay, look at you, wow. Like that is a fat, healthy pike, and away he goes. Wow, so nice. That's textbook, that's the way I like it. He didn't get jammed up in the net. Which, if you've watched my channel, you know that's my, that's my nemesis. All right, we're going to head in. I'm actually even going to, we're stopping on a, on a high note with that one. And that is on this really old sort of antique um, a swim bait that I picked up at, a, uh, at an estate sale. So um, I hope that fisherman's dream came alive one more time with that pickup. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this weekend. I hope you had a great time. Shiloh, Shiloh, what'd you think, baby? Did you have a good time? Yeah, you had a good time. Yes, you did. Give us a kiss. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, so Shiloh says goodbye, and uh, hope you guys have a great day, and let's uh, keep on cracking.